Now that we've set up our Brightspace gradebook and added categories, let's go ahead and add items. From Manage Grades, in the top left, we'll click New and choose Item this time. And we'll present it with several options we can create. We can create Numeric, which allows us to add points for an item. A Select box that allows us to choose an option from one of the schema in the system, A, B, C, D, or F, for example. A Pass-Fail option, options to add either a formula, calculated grade. The calculation could be really helpful if you want to add a here's where you are halfway through the semester where you select which items to add up to calculate where they're at at that point. And finally a text option where you might add some notes for yourself. And we'll look at an example of that in a moment. In this case we will go ahead and add a numeric grade item and this is going to be one of the presentations that we will assess. So I'm going to call it presentation one I'm not going to worry about a short name right now, but I do want to associate this with a category because it's one of my presentations. So from category, I'll choose presentations. And then for this one, I need to set how many points I want this to be. So for points, I'm going to grade this out of 100 points. I can choose whether or not I want to allow them to exceed 100 points. I'll use the default scheme here, the percentage scheme. We're not going to work with rubrics yet, but there is an option to add rubrics. Really great tool here. At the bottom, there are display options, just like we saw when we created categories. You can modify these as needed for this. In this case, though, we are just going to click Save and Close. And once I've done that, you can see this item I added gets added underneath my category, kind of as an indented item, so I can see how those associations work. And this is the Manage Grades view, but I want to jump over to Enter Grades for a minute so you can see how nicely these categories help us organize our setup here. So when I have my categories, I'll see those headers across the top. And whenever there are subcategories, I have an option to kind of collapse any of those to make it easier to see my whole gradebook without scrolling for miles. So it, this really helps you organize the gradebook well. Let's go ahead and add another item here. Let's add a text item so that we could add maybe a pronoun for our students, for example. So new, choose item. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and select the text option. And for this one, I'm going to call it pronouns. And this one won't be a category. I want this just to be an extra column in my gradebook for my reference. And I don't, so I don't need to change any of the other options in here. But I want to point out there's other tabs up at the top. Under the restrictions tab, since this is just for my reference, just for instructor reference, I'll go ahead and choose Hide from Users for this particular column. And at the bottom, I will click Save and Close. And I can see that got added to the bottom. And there's a little icon here that shows it is hidden from users. In Grade View, now my pronouns are kind of over on the edge there. So let me show you how we can actually move it to the beginning. So back in Manage Grades, under More Actions, there is a Reorder tool here. So I'm going to click under Reorder. And I want to find the item I want to move to the top, Pronouns. And I'm going to just give this a 1 so it will go up to the top for me. Click on Save. And now I can see that's at the top in Manage Grades. And when I go into Enter Grades again, I'm going to see that that will also be at the top here. Whenever I want to actually fill in any of these grades, or in this case, my text field, I can click the drop down next to it under Enter Grades and choose Enter Grades. And then I will be able to fill in any of these fields here. I'm going to cancel that for now. And now that we have some content in our gradebook, another really helpful tool is the bulk edit tool. So at any point when you want to check over everything or make quick changes to everything, this tool is helpful. So I'm going to click the checkbox near the top left corner to select everything in my list here and click bulk edit. And this pulls up most of the options for these items and categories where I can go in and modify those. So I can associate anything with a category or change its category look at the points, the weight, choose the bonus items, etc, etc. This is a nice way to make a lot of fixes quickly. I'm going to cancel out of there because I don't need to change anything here. Now you have some tools to get started with your Brightspace gradebook.